Hi, today we're going to cover updating your escort radar detector. We're going to need three things right off the bat. A Windows laptop or MacBook with internet access, where you can navigate to escortradar.com and download detector tools, the free software program from Escort. The second, your escort detector. The third, the USB cord to connect it all together. Once we have everything in place, we can start the install of the software and make it all work. Once you have everything connected to the computer, the detector and the USB cord, Detector Tools will show you what it's working with. In this case, in Escort IX, it'll list the serial number right in front that you can see here. You'll also notice there's a gray and a green button. Let's go over those next. First, we'll get rid of the serial number screen by clicking OK. When you see these buttons here, one green, one gray, the green in this case, the bottom, is the software button. Remember, software updates are free for the lifetime of the unit, no matter what. The camera database, though, the button above it, is grayed out because this unit hasn't been registered yet. It doesn't know if it has the free database updates, which are available for the first 90 days of every new detector purchase. So for now, let's just update the firmware. To do that, we simply put the cursor on the bottom green button, and select it. The process starts automatically, but in case the firmware is current, it'll prompt you here. If you'll notice, it says, device firmware is current, do you want to continue? In this case, we do not. If it's current and there's no issue, there's no reason to continue. We'll select no. Now, there's another process for updating the firmware. On the advanced tab, you can select update all, this button here at the bottom. If you need to force all the firmware back into a detector, let's say there's some troubleshooting that you were advised of when you called us for help, or you simply want to start fresh with the detector, the Update All button does exactly this. When you click that, it'll force all the new firmware right into the unit. There are other options as well, removing mark locations and lockouts that are stored on the detector, as well as restoring and backing up that very same database to the computer. You, of course, have additional options of changing which type of alerts and mark locations and lockouts you want to remove from that database if you so choose. But remember, the main page is where you want to stay. The top button being the camera database when updates are available to you, and the bottom being the firmware button to update the firmware of the unit at any time. Thanks for watching. Tune in again.